Typhoon and tornado have hit southeastern China, bringing strong winds and flooding. Four people have died and another 16 people are still missing. Some areas have seen wind speeds of up to 180 kilometers an hour. Elaine Young has more. Let's take a look at some other stories now. Now it's time for Dateline. Welcome to BBC News, broadcasting at home and around the globe. I'm Le Boutiseco, our top stories. Hello and thank you for joining us. Médecins Sans Frontières says it wants an independent international investigation into the bombing of its hospital in Afghanistan. The medical charity says U.S. airstrikes were aimed precisely and repeatedly at the building in Kunduz. 22 people died in that bombing. Syria's president Bashar al-Assad is warning that the fate of the entire Middle East hangs on the success of the coalition between his country, Russia, Iran and Iraq. In his first broadcast interview since Russia intervened in Syria, he said that the US-led bombing campaign against Islamic State extremists had failed to stop terrorism from spreading. Our diplomatic correspondent Johnny Diamond has more. Well, staying with Syria and IS militants are reported to have blown up another 2,000-year-old monument. Well, the conflict in Syria continues to push people out of the country, with the majority of refugees ending up in neighboring countries. It's thought that close to two million people have fled to Turkey, possibly many more. And from then, around 5,000 a day are heading to Greece. Now, the EU is calling on Turkey to do more to stop the exodus, and it's holding talks with the country's president this week. Our Europe editor, Katia Adler, sent this report. In the south of France, at least 16 people have been killed in flash floods and three people are still missing after violent storms overnight. More than 17 centimetres of rain. Well, do stay with us on BBC News still to come. This is BBC News. I'm Le Boutiseco. Our headlines. Now, shark attacks in New South Wales and Australia have been particularly high this year and some pretty novel ideas have been suggested to try and prevent them. Among them are phone apps that track the predators lurking out at sea and also shark detecting buoys. From Sydney, Phil Mercer has more. A powerful typhoon and tornado have hit southeastern China, bringing strong winds and flooding. Four people have died, another 16 people are still missing. Some areas have seen wind speeds of up to 180 kilometres an hour. Elaine Young has more. Let's take a look at a couple of other stories now. Well, even as Hurricane Joaquin veered away from the east coast of the US, another weather system's caused heavy rain and flash flooding in the south, uh, state of South Carolina. It's been described as a one in a thousand year event. The state capital, Columbia, has received 18 centimeters of rain in just 24 hours, and at least seven people have died. Sophia Tran Thompson has more. Now, when you buy skin products, do you take a look at what's in them, like a real good look? Well, we've been to a company in Delhi that's using some pretty unusual ingredients in its line of cosmetics. From cows to a pretty brave dog in California. From us, thank you for watching BBC News. Now it's time for Hard Talk.